The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, asserted that thanks to the effective diplomatic approach adopted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to consolidate security, peaceful coexistence, cultural, cultural rapprochement, and respect for human rights in support of the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The minister made the statement while attending the 19th summit of the non-aligned movement NAM, hosted by the Ugandan capital city Kampala. Addressing the summit, Dr. Zayani expressed pride in the commendation of NAM in the final document of its 19th summit of His Majesty the King's pioneering initiatives to promote religious tolerance, peaceful coexistence, interfaith, a dialogue, empower youth, and consolidate Bahrain's status as a leading country and strengthening relations and enriching interaction among peoples from various religions, beliefs, and cultures. In his speech, the Foreign Affairs Minister affirmed the commitment of the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to its diplomatic approach based on consolidation of the values of tolerance, fraternity, pluralism and international cooperation in achieving security, peace, development and human rights, respect in line with the civilizational values and national fundamentals that are consistent with the goals of NAM and the United Nations. Dr. Zayani reviewed the Kingdom's stances in support of joint political and diplomatic action to end the wars as well as settle regional and international conflicts and disputes peacefully. The Foreign Affairs Minister emphasized the Kingdom's keenness to intensify efforts and deepen partnership with NAM member states at the political, security, economic, social and cultural levels to confront all challenges and achieve calming goals. Dr. Zayani said the ultimate goal is to build a more stable, just and solid political and economic system that contributes to consolidating international peace and security, implementing the goals of the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and ensuring prosperity and development for the peoples of the region and the entire world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the India's Minister of External Affairs, Subramaniam Jai Shankar, on the sidelines of the 19th summit of the Non Aligned Movement, currently hosted by the Ugandan capital city, Kampala. The two ministers discussed the Bahrain India friendship and cooperation relations, in addition to the diplomatic efforts exerted by both countries to bolster their political, economic, and trade cooperation to meet their common aspirations. Regional issues of common concern were also reviewed. Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani met his Sri Lankan counterpart Ali Sabri on the sidelines of the 19th summit of the Non Aligned Movement hosted by the Ugandan capital city Kampala. The two sides discussed ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields to meet common interests. Regional and global issues of mutual concern were also reviewed during the meeting. Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani met First Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Uzbekistan Dr. Bakham John Aliyev on the sidelines of the 19th Summit of the Non-Aligned Movement hosted by the Ugandan capital city Kampala. The two sides discussed ways to enhance cooperation and friendship relations between the two countries in various fields to meet common interests. They also reviewed issues of common concern. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'il bin Nasr Limbarak, and the Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj, visited Sitra. During the visit, the two ministers reviewed a number of projects being implemented in the area that were included within the third package projects for developing roads, sanitation, and municipalities. Al-Mbarak affirmed that the ministry is working to implement a number of service projects which contribute to developing the infrastructure and providing high-quality municipal services. He also stressed the ministry's keenness to promote sustainable urban development and achieve national goals by expanding projects that ensure an increase in the green area. 
He indicated that the ministry has developed a plan to implement a number of service projects in the 9th district of Sitra, including the Sitra Central Market Development Project. He also revealed the establishment of two new parks, the establishment of sports stadiums and the waterfront project in al -Ikr. For his part, the Minister of Works affirmed that the Ministry is working to implement a strategy which includes a group of infrastructure development projects that keep pace with the urban and investment development witnessed by the Kingdom. He highlighted that the Ministry is working on implementing sanitation services projects in addition to road projects that serve to improve traffic movement in addition to developing the rainwater drainage system. He reviewed a number of projects to serve the East Sitra housing city, which includes providing outlets for the city through the construction of East Sitra Avenue, in addition to developing Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Fatih Avenue and developing Road Number no. 1, in addition to implementing the main sewage line project to serve the housing city. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain concluded its active participation in the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in the Swiss city of Davos, where the forum included a number of meetings and dialogue sessions aimed at exchanging experiences and consolidating and building partnerships in all fields. The Kingdom's delegation explained that various participating delegations, the qualitative leaps the national economy is witnessing in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which makes the Kingdom a distinctive investment environment. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated alongside its fellow Gulf Cooperation Council countries, where a discussion session under the title Rebuilding Confidence brought together Gulf ministers and officials concerned with economic and financial affairs with the participation of an elite group of global leaders. They discussed the most prominent global challenges and changes and reviewed solutions and developments related to various economic and development sectors. The session showed that the pace of economic growth in the Gulf region is moving in the right direction towards further development and growth, which reflects positively in favor of creating more promising and stimulating investment opportunities for various economic sectors. The delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain participating in the forum highlighted Bahrain's serious commitment to implementing its national development priorities and commitments emanating from the United Nations 2030 Plan for Sustainable Development and its keenness to achieve goals through effective participation between the government, civil society, academia and the private sector, all the way to achieving a bright and sustainable future for all in various developmental fields. The Secretary-General of the Shura Council organized a cooperation with the Institute of Public Administration, a panel session on international parliamentary systems. Bahrain's ambassador to Belgium and the European Union, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabr al-Dosiri, was the guest speaker at the session, moderated by the Director-General of the Institute of Public Administration, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa bin Adij al-Khalifa. The dialogue session focused on the Bahraini legislative authorities' practices in implementing international parliamentary systems, Arab and international achievements, as well as the role in supporting diplomatic work and international parliamentary action, in addition to cooperation with other parliaments to exchange expertise in implementing the international parliamentary system. Shura Council Secretary General Karim Mohammed Al Abbasi stressed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's great support has enabled the legislative branch to develop its work and enhance its contributions to the national developmental process in many fields including parliamentary diplomacy which reflects the kingdom's distinguished status and reputation at regional and international parliamentary organizations. She added that the joint efforts exerted by the Legislative Authority in partnership with the Executive Branch, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, have contributed to highlighting the Kingdom's diplomatic experience at the international level. She highlighted the constant directives of the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh to the Secretariat General to enhance the support provided to Shura members in the fields of parliamentary diplomacy. She also praised the growing cooperation between the Shura Council and the Institute of Public Administration, citing the events held as part of the parliamentary support program.
member of the Representatives Council and member of the Arab Parliament, Mamdou Hassaleh, participated in the meeting of the Social, Educational, Cultural Affairs, Women and Youth Committee of the Arab Parliament held in the Egyptian capital city, Cairo. During the meeting, as Saleh praised the role of the Supreme Council for Women in supporting the advancement and empowerment of Bahraini women, stressing the Council of Representatives' keenness to protect women's rights by enacting legislation that supports women's rights whether at work or within their families in a manner that enhances the achievements of sustainable development goals. And in the same context, a member of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Hisham Al-Ashiri, took part in the meeting of the Legislative, Legal and Human Rights Affairs Committee of the Arab Parliament. During the meeting, the committee reviewed the draft general framework of the situation of human rights in the Arab world 2023, where Al-Ashiri confirmed that the committee discussed the most prominent challenges facing human rights in the Arab world, in addition to the most important human rights issues in the Arab world for the year 2023. Three.